I left Somaliland in 1988 because there was an outbreak of the war here in Hargeisa. Since the uh, collapse of central government of Somalia in 1991, brain drain happened to the country. All the experienced civil servants, most of them left the country or are aging at the moment. 22 years of civil conflict uh, and war, the Somali institutions are left with almost nothing. They were completely decimated. A country such as Somalia, to change the narrative, to remove the stigma of a failed state, uh, it needs its own sons and daughters to come back to assist in the rebuilding of the country. MIDA has been uh, very effective because it's the link between us and uh, the institutions and uh, they set the platform for us to discharge our duties. The hallmark of our program is capacity building, which means transfer of skills from the diaspora to the, the local Somali colleagues. I am now working as a participant in Hargeisa Group Hospital. There was a lot of need, so I wanted to at least contribute to the improvement of the hospital. On a daily basis, the hospital sees, for example, 50 emergency cases only. And if you add also the other, it can be around 300 patients daily. The healthcare system in, in Somaliland is uh, much more different than the, than the ones that they have used if, you, if someone is from the West, Western countries or in uh, developing countries that have a good system because there is a recovery, post-war recovery going on. The system in here, uh, people do believe mostly uh, the traditional medicine and uh, patients are not brought in the hospital uh, on time. We have provided, for example, surgical operations we provide twice a week. And I think we have solved the problem of surgery for the time being. Then there was another problem for maternity emergencies. We have about five obstetricians now. I think things are improving. And I think people have now confidence in her case of group hospital. The tangible thing is the health uh, facilities or services within Somaliland, especially the General Hospital, which is the referral center of uh, whole Somaliland, the six regions, has been improved. Before our media intervention, the hospital it was about to get closed. And now you can see the hospital is booming. There's a many departments has been included since our media participant was on board. They have the area of expertise and they have the experience to work on those areas. The nature of MIDA is temporary. Uh, what we don't want to do is for the diaspora to come and replace or displace those who are already on the ground. Their primary uh, uh, job is to go and mentor them and train them and complement what they're doing on the ground. So many uh, private people need our institution has a, a curriculum system which is different from the other universities. According to the degree program, we provide public administration, development management, uh, urban planning, political science, so development management. That courses, they are not provided to the universities here. So there are so many people who have visited us who need their courses. Sometimes um, I do come across that uh, the skills that I transferred are not used. Although they have the knowledge, but still the old system is at the back of their head and that comes first. Once people understand that you're willing to listen to them and you're willing to take their ideas into consideration, they become automatically more open and more willing to work with you. There are occasions when you feel that you are an outsider. And initially when you come in, uh, but as you begin to interact with the staff, with the partners, uh, you begin to be accepted and to accept the others.
When you're working in an active conflict environment, the number one issue or challenge is security. But uh, we have an advantage of working uh, with Somali diaspora experts who are able to blend in uh, and are not uh, attracting as much attention as if you were to bring in uh, some experts from uh, uh, the UK, for example, who is non-Somali. The young people have to be encouraged to come, even if they don't want to stay here permanently, but to, to witness the development of this country. The people that have actually pulled themselves up with, 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 with their own effort. I would encourage uh, the diasporas, uh, or Somalian diasporas, if they could, people with the skills to come back and to assist the country. In the health sector, we need more and more human resources, which are the right doctors, uh, midwives, and nurses, and public health, and, and, and other uh, health, uh, uh, allied health uh, personnel, to assist us in, in making sure that we have a, a, an effective system, uh, an effective uh, plan, and also um, to, to implement what we have set out to do. I would encourage people to come back here and to invest their skills and knowledge, you know, because the country really needs it. And I like to see a lot of people take part in rebuilding the country. I think we're already starting to, you see like all the changes and differences, restaurants, businesses are popping up, the safety is getting better. So I would like to see more investment in capacity building and skills and also the finan financial backing from international community too, in investing in institutions and making them capable. Somalia is looking at a new horizon and I think MIDA can provide a stepping stone, can work closely together with the Somali government so that it can provide a better future for the Somali people.